Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the deer whistle. Uh, basically whistles for the car that hopefully make the deer or any other animal that stands on the side of the road go away and not crossing the road uh, possible in front of your car and cause a crash and all that. That uh, is unfortunately in uh, mountainous areas where I am uh, pretty common. So one possible solutions are deer whistle and uh, this video is more about uh, how I did mount the, the deer whistle on the car uh, because that is a bit unusual I would say. So maybe that video will give some people ideas on how to mount their deer whistles on the car. So the deer whistle can be mounted uh, on the front part of the car. Uh, basically it's a glue-on, sometimes a screw-on design that you can uh, mount. And uh, you can also use the side mirrors that face rearwards. Rearwards you can uh, mount it under that. Uh, the problem always is uh, that the deer whistle is outside, not say inside the, the grill there, hiding, so it needs to be exposed that the airflow is as best possible, so the whistle sound is really good, plus uh, that it is not enclosed, so that the sound actually goes to all sides and hopefully do its job. And uh, yeah, if you mount that with the glue, only uh, double-sided tape, uh, as with some of the items here uh, that uh, not gonna last for long so I opted to screw each one uh, down uh, so that that lasts and then is the problem if you go by the car wash that you uh, gonna lose it by the force that is uh, applied by the car wash uh, drive through places there so my solution for the problem was to use a aluminium part here that is uh, bended that is bended one side go below the front uh, license plate there and uh, is screwed on with the regular two screws that hold the license plate and uh, the other part goes in front gives you the shell for mounting the dog uh, the, the deer and dog whistles uh, like that. So it's easy to mount. You can simply screw it on with two screws, the regular two screws from the, the uh, mounting uh, plate from the license plate. Uh, the screws are usually long enough. The aluminium that I used uh, is about 3-4 millimeter thick. So uh, I used aluminium because that's not going to rust. I painted it just matte black and it's now on the car for about uh, two, two weeks and uh, that works perfectly. So it's easy to take off. If you go by a drive through car wash place you can simply unscrew those two screws. Uh, take all parts say in the trunk, put it in, go through the car wash and then outside you actually have a, a clean car uh, even under the front license uh, plate and uh, then you screw it back on so it's quick and simple so that may help other people too and give ideas how to mount it now if you have had experiences with deer and other animals and your deer whistle please put it in the comments uh, did it work out did it not work out uh, what would you do uh, for a solution uh, where are you located and so on so we get a bit feedback on how that works uh, for sure it can be uh, negative in a if you have a, a deer whistle, either it works or it doesn't, but uh, it's not going to harm anything. So that should be okay. Uh, the, the deer whistles, uh, you can get those uh, cheap online and in stores. Uh, they have different variations. 
two of them we have here. So uh, I opted to use two different brands. Uh, they sell in packs of four and I did select to use two and two. Uh, the idea behind that was to have hopefully a bit of different variety in the in the whistle sound so it would be hopefully even more scary for the deer or any uh, any other uh, wildlife so it gets scared off on the side of the road and uh, the other four pieces two and two they go then on a different car so that both cars are protected and both use the same the same uh, system with the aluminium that I just did explain so yeah, that was my thinking about that matter, because uh, that often happens, unfortunately. It's too bad that uh, such items are not directly built into the car, uh, that that is protected or has at least a chance to be protected from start, but apparently, uh, as best as I see, there are no cars with, with uh, that feature directly in it. That would be a good sales point. Now below we see that shiny uh, plate that is stainless steel mirror polished uh, that is now well over 20 years old. I made those back in Switzerland as I did know that I hopefully one day can use them on a car uh, here in Freedom in USA instead of a front license plate. Uh, we have only the regular license plate on the rear end of the car, so on the front you can put on uh, whatever you want, basically. And I selected to uh, use my logo, the red uh, plastic sticker that I uh, did apply to it is in need of replacement one day. That is now good 20 years old too, but it, it lasted pretty well and uh, the mirror polishing is still nice of that stainless steel got not too many uh, uh, problems so far really expensive material uh, we had some scrap material left uh, back then in the bad old days in uh, switzerland so i used them up for uh, things like that and uh, camping mirrors as well as well so yeah that much about this situation here I just hope it works and uh, that we have no more uh, problems with any wildlife hitting the car.